Hey guys, welcome back to Data with Dominic. And in today's uh, video, we're going to be looking at how to query data uh, in a PySpark data frame using the dot select function. So let's dive right into the demo. As you can see, we've got our Databricks Community Edition set up. If you want to know how to set this up and uh, work with PySpark for free, I'll uh, leave a link to my video showing you how to do that in the top right hand corner of your screen. And yeah, so for the rest of this, so for the code I've already put in here, I'm basically just uh, reading a CSV file which I had uploaded to Databricks uh, file store to the DBFS. I'll just have a video uh, on how to do that as well. I'll link that in the top right hand corner of the screen. So yeah, it's a CSV file and I've read a data frame from it and I've just displayed the data frame so you can get an idea of the data. It's just a very simple table with ID, first name, last name, email, uh, gender and IP address. So if you want to basically query data using the dot select function, what we have to do is we have to give the data frame name, which is df in this case, since that's what we write the CSV file to, as you can see. So we, we have to do df dot select, and then we open parentheses, and then within uh, quotes or double quotes, we have to specify the column names. So suppose I just want id, df select id, and then we can hit dot show. So as you can see, we've got that one column ID has been selected and it's uh, being uh, shown or printed. So another way to basically output the data is you can wrap that entire df.select inside a display function. So display, open parenthesis and then write df.select ID. I prefer using this way because it's, as you can see, it comes back in a, in like a tabular format with uh, a sort of uh, graphic, uh, a GUI element to that. So I prefer using the display and then uh, wrapping the specific command we're using inside the display. And yeah, so if you want to basically uh, query multiple columns, we do a df dot select. We got wrapped in display. And then we just have to specify multiple column names. So we can do ID separated by a comma. And again, in double quotes, first name, comma, double quotes, last, underscore. These column names have to match exactly with the case and everything. And then when we execute this, we can see that we've queried all the data from that particular column. So if you want to know how to uh, query uh, data from all uh, the columns, then again, it's very simple. You don't use a display command, you just write display df. And you get the table with all columns. So that's how we query data using the dot select function in PySpark. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit the bell icon, and we'll see you in the next one.